and we're here today to talk about the T quilts optional block drawing each month starting from October 2022 through September 2023 I will be giving instructions for an optional block what is an optional block an optional block is a block that you it's optional you don't have to do it even if you participate you don't have to do it every month but what happens is you will make a particular block in the color palette that I tell you to make it in most of them are going to be scrappy so you shouldn't have a problem making most of these quilt blocks and they're going to be at different skill levels and then once you make the block you mail it into my PO box which is in the description of the video below and then I will take those blocks and everybody that turns in a block, I put your name into a drawing. These blocks will be due the third Thursday of every month in my P.O. box. On the following Wednesday, I will show the blocks that came in and then I will also do the drawing. So if we have, say, 50 people participating, I get 50 blocks in, I will divide those blocks in half and maybe have two winners in some months. It just depends on how many blocks I receive. The fee for joining is $5. That $5 is used so that I can mail the blocks back to the winners. You can win more than once in a year. You also can put your name in the drawing more than once a month. So if I tell you that one block is due this month and you send two or three, then your name will go into that drawing for the number of blocks that you have sent in. In addition to that, there are going to be some months where you are going to do more than one block. It's a requirement. And you will also have a number of blocks we tell you to send in is how many times you'll be entered into the drawing so just in case somebody only sends one block when they were supposed to send two then your name will go in once everybody else's name will go in twice so just trying to make sure we keep everything fair on the swap again it's a five dollar fee and it's used for mailing the packages back. If at the end I have any extra money left over, I'll just do a drawing of all those that sent in the $5 that participated. Then I would just do a drawing of everybody that participated and send that back out. Somebody asked me if I would mind also doing a layout for all of the blocks that we're going to make. And I'll work on that. I don't have that done. I will consider doing that. I think some people want to make two blocks so that they can keep one. And then at the end, they'll have a little sampler quilt with all of the blocks that we did for the entire year. So I'll consider doing that later. And I'm trying to think if there is anything else I need to tell you. Oh, <laughs> there is a Facebook group that I have set up called T Quilts Optional Block Drawing. Once you've paid your $5 or let me know that you're going to participate, go ahead and go over and request to join that group and I will let you in. There I'm going to be giving you links to the videos that I'm going to be releasing as well on the instructions that I'm going to be doing for each month. So in the previous month in September, I will be releasing a video for the block that's due in October by the third Thursday of the month. So if you got any other questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below and I will gladly answer those. I'm also going to show you three blocks. I'm not going to show you all 12. These three blocks were all made by Norma, my friend. She's also helping me with the sew along. We're doing this with my quilt gill. So I decided to go ahead and open this up 
to my YouTube subscribers as well. So you will get to see three of the 12 blocks and then the others we're just going to leave a little mystery for you for now. So thanks everybody for participating. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye everybody. Thank you.